हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी स्मार्ट एन की सीरीज को आगे बढ़ाते हुए वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास ट्वेल्व चैप्टर नंबर वन रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन प्री इवेंट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन सो वॉट इज द फर्टिलाइजेशन Uh, so the most vital events of sexual reproduction uh, is uh, basically the fusion of gametes we have seen the uh, production of gametes in our previous video now in this uh, fertilization uh, there is a fusion of the two types of gametes and this process is called syngamy and the result is the formation of diploid zygote and the term for a uh, whole process is the fertilization okay now uh, the question is about parthenogenesis the next question arise about the parthenogenesis so in some organism like rotifers honey bees lizards birds the female gamete undergoes development to form new organism without fertilization and this is the phenomena which is known as parthenogenesis so if female gamete does not require any fertilization for the development of new organism then it is called parthenogenesis now the question uh syngamy the question about syngamy so in some uh, in most aquatic organism just uh, like algae fishes amphibian amphibians amphibians uh syngamy occurs in external medium it means outside the female body if the fertilization occurs outside the female body then it's called external fertilization okay so for these uh, a medium require which can which can provide two gametes to fuse okay so gametic fusion outside the body is called external fertilization and organism exhibiting external fertilization uh, so great synchronomy between the sexes and release the large number of gametes into the surrounding medium and it must be it could be water and in most of the cases water is one of the medium so to increase the chance of syngamy medium is required okay in bony fishes frogs where a large number of offsprings are produced a major disadvantage is that offsprings are extremely vulnerable to predators okay and their uh, survival up to adult wool is in pattern so the number of offspring produced in uh, in external fertilization is more in number while in internal fertilization it's a less in number so in many terrestrial organism belonging to fungi higher animals such as reptiles birds mammals and in majority of plants like biophyta tidophyta gymnosperm and gisperm syngamy occurs inside the body so when syngamy occurs inside the body it is called internal fertilization in all these organism egg is formed inside the female body where they fuse with the male gamete in organism exhibiting internal fertilization the male gamete is motile and has to reach the egg in order to fuse with it so in this the number of only the number of sperms produced is in very large quantity because it has to compete and uh, and go further to fuse the axon okay 
now um ha huh. and the number of eggs produced are less in number in seed plants non motile male gametes are carried to female gamete by pollen tubes in them pollen tubes are there which uh, shows path to sperm pollen grains to come to the ovule or seed now the post fertilization events this is the fertilization which occurs and after fertilization the events occurs are known as post fertilization events so after the reproduction formation of zygote occurs and this is called post fertilization events so formation of diploid zygote is universal in all sexual reproduction organism in organism with external fertilization zygote is formed in the external medium usually water okay where is in those exhibiting internal fertilization zygote is formed inside the body these two things go uh, side by side further development of zygote depends on the type of life cycle of the organism and the environment ab uh, now uh fungi algae in fungi and algae zygote develops a thick wall that is resistant to desiccation and damage because it is outside the body therefore a thick wall resistant wall is developed each undergoes a period of rest before the germination zygote divides by meiosis to form haploid spores that grow into haploid individual zygote is a vital link that ensures continuity of a species between organism of one generation and the next every sexual reproduce, reproducing organism including human beings life as a single cell zygote so everyone starts its life from single cell even human beings because the zygote is a single cell so from that single cell whole body of organism formed now we go through the embryogenesis embryogenesis is the process in which development of embryo from zygote occur during embryogenesis zygote undergoes various division cell division that is mitosis and cell differentiation while cell division increases the number of cells in the developing embryo cell differentiation helps groups of cell to undergo certain modification to form specialized tissue so uh, cell division increase the number of cells and cell differentiation helps groups of cells to uh, to modify and form specialized tissue and organ now animals categorized into oviparous and viviparous there are two types of organism that is oviparous and viviparous so it depends on the development of zygote okay takes place outside the body of the female parent or inside that is they lay fertilized unfertilized eggs or give young give birth to young ones in oviparous animals like reptiles birds fertilized eggs covered by hard calcareous shells are laid in the safe place in the environment after a period of incubation young ones hatch out on the other hand in viviparous animals majority may mammals human beings the zygote develops into a young one inside the body of the female organism after attaining certain stage of growth the young ones are delivered out of the body of the female organism because of proper embryonic care and protection the chances of survival of young ones is greater in viviparous than oviparous in flowering in flowering plants the zygote is formed inside the ovule 
After fertilization, sepals, petals, stamens of the flowers wither and fall off. Uh, the pistil, however, remains attached to the plant. The zygote develops into the embryo and the ovule develops into the seed. The ovary develops into the fruit, which develops a thick wall called pericarp that is protective in function. So, pericarp protects others. After dispersal, seeds germinate under favorable condition to produce new plants. And here is one diagram in which seeds and pericarp. Pericarp is for protection. I have shown. So, in first case, there is pericarp on the outer and has a semicircular two characters in which seeds are there. In another one, you can see four seeds and outer layer is pericarp. In third pictures, you can see many of the seeds in the center of the circle, in the center of the seed and there is a pericarp to protect them. So here we completed our first chapter of reproduction in organism. So I hope you all understand it very well and if any problem occurs then comment me below. I will solve it out. I will sort it out and make another video for further for any of the problem you face during this video. So thank you for now. Thank you for now. Bye bye.